anarchy than we were expecting. And only seen one team run him so far, but it looks like we're getting into this next match quite quickly. Actually. Bear in mind, predetermined maps being on this round of 16 stage, and uh, the matches we will be seeing throughout the rest of this broadcast will be round of 16. And for that reason, Burial Chamber will always be the first map that we see get picked. But I do believe, I think I just saw a visor. This is one of the first times we've seen Visor. That would be very cool, because Visor seems, again, like, we're talking about almost like utility champions. Visor has the speed, so he can run if he needs to. Um, he's not the squishiest of champions in the game, but it really comes down to that piercing sight, that ability that he has, which basically gives him um, almost like a wall hack for a few seconds, right? He can see all the enemy opponents through walls for a few seconds. Now, in a team-based mode, and you, you were saying this earlier on, in a team mode, when he pops piercing sight, his entire team's going to know where they are. Because if you're in team comms, like, you know, I should assume all of these guys are, you can just call out where they are. You know, you say, okay, Anarchy's, Anarchy's going for the soul. Anarchy's got the soul. He's running X way. And your entire team now knows about it. You know, all you have to do is tell your team what you see, and they'll know where the enemy team is. And I assume we'll see that put to good use here. But while we get this match loaded up, I mean, the talent on both of these teams is unbelievable. On the side of Avengers, you know, with Kilson. You know, I mean, need I say more on that one? But then, obviously, uh, on the flip side, Asterius with base and Inns. I mean, Inns, we're going to actually see tomorrow uh, facing off against Cypher in the 1v1 playoff for Sunday. So it's safe to assume that everyone on these teams knows a thing or two about getting frags. And in Sacrifice, that's unbelievably important. I mean, we've, we've seen throughout the course of this stream just how fast this game mode can be, even when it goes on for quite a while. The, the rate of which the fights happen. There is an insane amount of fighting, an insane amount of fragging, and yeah. just general, just moving around all over the place. Like, it is quite hectic, I think is the best word for so, it. So, as we can see, Mastermind is the designated Anarchy. And Anarchy, uh, on Burial Chamber in particular, he can navigate from one obelisk to another so unbelievably quickly. I have a real look and see what we have in store for this match. Mastermind does manage to frag base as well, but already Nyx, Anarchy, these champions are expecting, and this time actually Anarchy on both teams, I believe. I, be I think so, I'm not quite sure yet, but then there's that Nyx and Anarchy, at least on one of them. Avengers running that uh, Anarchy Nyx pair we've seen so far. I mean, just, it's so aggressive and so hard to pin down. I actually saw Anarchy particularly used really well on Burial Chamber last time as well. But again, Obelisk A, you know, this this is a point that I think teams have heavily preferred taking. Uh, we definitely saw that in our last uh, series between Sandals and Dreams of Magic. But I think there's a lot of open space in this Obelisk. You sort of see the, the ability to defend from up high and sort of pepper down fire on people trying to sort of enter the room. It just seems a little bit easier to do on this Obelisk compared to B. They go base with that LG kill though, just trying to... I mean, already Avengers, a minute into this, 25% captured. They managed to steal the spawn though, trying to get out, and Anarchy has it, and he is out of there. Oh, and he's actually being protected by his team, and that should be no mastermind instantly there with the super shotgun to shut him down. However, going in for the uh, injection, trying to stay alive for just that little bit longer, but just the rails. Rails on this map, you, you just see so many of them on Burial Jump, but Phoenix does manage to actually uh, snag that soul, try and bring it back, but Anarchy trying to head him off. It's going to be a two versus one though right now until the rest of the team follow up. Once again, as you can see, um, we've seen Sawlag on this point is really effective as well because the, the, the spread of which you can go for the uh, the venom, also the, uh, the the breath on the floor. You can deny so much of the obelisk before they take anything. Indeed, and once again doing so much damage here, just trying to get the soul. They have it, and he passes it to Anarchy. Has the enhanced mobility. He goes through the uh, heavy armor as well on the way, and a rocket launcher. Wow! Well, Pepper is just stocking himself up, ready for this. Oh, it gets headed off by the LG though. Abzo ready and waiting. Base manages to tag it as well, though he has got access to the quad. So defending with the quad is probably going to give you a little bit of free percentage. We've seen how good these guys are with Rails Base in particular. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> speak of the devil. Mastermind absolutely shuts him down. He's going to grab the soul, looks like he is. Oh, actually missed a I couple think of Rails. Nyx has it. He's going to be protecting him with this with this quad damage. Kilson trying to get away now. Oh, he falls down. Literally. <laughs> no pun intended, Goodbye. I suppose. Okay. So I actually did see uh, Blaskovitz on this team comp as well. One of the first times I've actually seen uh, Blaskovitz sort of picked recently. There we go, just as fast as we can say that. Mastermind is able to get the soul back for Avengers, pops the injection, keeps himself popped up. And even though Asterios actually did a really good job of sort of keeping the soul out of action for a while, they didn't really manage to keep it controlled for uh, on their actual obelisk. It was just out of action, not scoring any points. And because of that, Avengers' lead is pretty, you know, it's significant. I mean, that is a big deal, over 55% now. Asterios sitting on just under 10, that's 
not great for them so far. Again, base sort of sitting on the point himself, trying to sort of avoid the acid, does put a foot into it, and Phoenix with that rail sort of combine the damage. But look, as you can see, Anarchy, Mastermind trying to really get back in there. Double rail. Oh, once again, it's a really solid defense. They're making it very difficult for Asterios to actually push into this location. But again, like just as we said before, if they're just trading out kill for kill here, so long as Avengers are holding on to this soul, the trades will be in their favor because they're winning the game on these trades. Absolutely. I mean, a big part of it as well, actually, you're noticing that everyone really knows. Um, they seem to be really aware of when Asterius is going to push. And I think a big part of that, actually, is the fact that we have a visor on the side of Avengers. You know, just that, that increased vision on a map like this, being able to see everything, it's, it's so important. The sword has gone through, the power up is up too though. Looks like ends on this Blaskovitz. Quad goes down. It's a matter of who's gonna try and pick this one up. Mastermind snagging the rail, but the Russians once again have access to the uh, quad damage. Speaking of quad damage though, you can see just how relevant these quad rails can be. That instant one oh, shot. No, he misses one and that actually got him killed. Kilson with that tribal kill. You don't see those every day. Gets two actually, what am I talking about? Inns has the dual wield and it has run out, but the quads can be good enough. Quad damage, super shotgun into rail, but walks straight into Mastermind, who was lying in wait. But base, they're gonna trade back and forth. This quad is just trading back and forth. The hands crazy. They managed to get the soul again, but right now it's actually getting out with the soul alive. That's being hard for them. Yeah, I mean, the Avengers here just covering all the exits themselves, and they have all the rockets and the rails that they need to defend. Just look at the percentage, right? 94% versus 9. The soul's down, but Avengers absolutely have the advantage in this situation. And Kilson's going to drop it off. He gets tagged by Pekka, but again, because it's still going up, you know, the meter is building. 3% left, and they've lost. Asterios have a, a huge order now if they want to win this. Now you can see Avengers already positioning themselves near that B obelisk. They want to catch him on the way. Oh, Pfizer's popped the ability too. They know exactly where he is. Did you see all of them turn around exactly at the same time? You hear Pfizer see his, like, at... say his thing, and just like that. Mastermind just flying through the air. No one even capable of catching up to him. And okay. because of that sequence, he just flew straight in, dropped off the obelisk, and that's going to be round one. Now, what a play at the end. Pfizer. Visor at the end gave that 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 round winning play. That was insane. You know, you heard him pop his ability. You heard him start to see through the walls, and then every single one of Avengers turns around and just zones in straight on the Soul Carrier at the same time. That was beautiful. However, that's going to be one round up for the Avengers. Big fight taking place near rail. The important thing, I think, is really trying to get those important frags at the very beginning. So when the soul spawns, you do have the luxury of choosing where you want to go. Wow, run into Gauntlet! But Proximo, with a bit too much health left. Indeed, there we go. Pops and Spiders just trying to save to get out, but all oh, destroyed. Now we can see Asterios now. Oh, this is good for them. They're going to take this obelisk first. Yes, they do. So now Asterios gets this uh, A obelisk themselves. In this situation, I mean, sometimes you can really, you can clearly see what side the teams prefer when they pretty much get the soul and they gun it for a very distinct one. In the evil sort of situation sort of tests whether they're able to deal with both of them. You know, Avengers quite comfortably took this obelisk last time, but they, they actually end up having the same problem that Asterios just did. And that could actually be a spell disaster for the rest of the match. In this situation, 20% already controlled in a minute. And that's a, a fast turnaround. Kilson's taken out, but here we go. Avengers are really here in force, trying to take it away. They're going to get this. Yes, they do. Throws the soul away. Anarchy most likely on it. No, Visor picked it up, but he is taken out by the rail. Mastermind now holding on to the soul on Anarchy. Low on health and armor. He's trying to quickly get away, but he's going to get intercepted. Oh, wasn't seen. Maybe I just give it a position where he's actually safely getting underground. They I, didn't have this way covered. I was prepared for that jump pad to be a death sentence, but unfortunately, actually, no! Just Missed in it just time. before. Just, just in before. time, able to capture this. Oh, but Pekka, just as quickly as they can capture it, takes it away. Are they going to secure it back again? The important thing is always going to be making sure that when that Anarchy secures the soul and he tries to run with it, just kill him as fast as possible. Because you're seeing, like, the second Anarchy collects the soul, he's consistently getting tagged by rails. Because everyone on the team is going, right, Anarchy's got it. We need to get him now, otherwise he's going to get the soul so quickly. Mastermind, that health pickup might have just saved his life here. But is it going to matter? Yes, it does. As Phoenix gets hold of him. Kilson, unfortunately, committing suicide somewhere on the map too, but giving Avengers a little bit of time to capture this other point and hold on to it. Oh, the protection comes through, but she's taking a lot of damage. Absolutely everyone focused that fire. Then again, she's going to get that 350 back off these two power-ups. 
Speaking of which, though, 50 health with protection. Ah, make oh, that a mega, mega health. Oh, oh no! Boy, just get knocked off the map there, but is able to survive. You can see base here trying to take the soul back, holding onto it now. Sneaks around behind. He's actually taken the soul from under their noses. Oh no, he's stuck on the ceiling. And again, he's so going to try and get away. Yeah, trying to get away. I mean, you can see just how much of an impactful difference it makes to... Oh, wow. Kilson lying in wait! That was a beautiful play, but unfortunately it was in vain. Oh no, actually no, Phoenix is able to take it. Now they are dead even in percentages here. This is it. crucial to see if you can get this next. To put them in that winning situation, that rail. That great. About. That was a fantastic support if rail just to get through, dropping it off. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to really hold this off by himself. Trying though, Inns does get taken out. Not able to now defend you can see the bottom alone. Though, piercing sight is ready to go. And just like I said, he pops it. They know where to defend from now. Anarchy is around the corner. He's in trouble now. Oh, but no, he's got backup. And Pekka is dead to take him out. Phoenix was unfortunately by himself. Yeah, it wasn't enough. Orba just I could say that. The injection is popped. He wants to get the soul and run away with it. With the speed mind. boost, he's trying. Yeah, that's it. It's not just going to be the fact that he gave himself full health. He gave himself a speed boost, which got him away. But the rail, like, I mean, just, that is just how squishy Anarchy is. All the dual wheel blast commits comes through. He's trying to hold this off by himself, but he will get taken down. Phoenix once again ready to destroy him. And base there again himself. Trying to take the soul back off again. This is really back and forth. And that, but during that entire exchange, Avengers were able to top up 20% to their win tally. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, clearly point A is something that teams feel a little bit more comfortable defending. Um, but at the same time, Avengers just looking good on both points. However, as I said, that Proximo does manage to take that. He's trying to get away. He's got a nice amount, a little bit of overcharged armor. So he's going to do less damage to himself with that rocket jump. Getting a nice amount of speed and just like that, does bring it back. He's going to drop it off 20%. We've seen how quickly that can change back and forth. So maybe not quite as much of a comfortable lead as they might want. Here yeah, comes the power up. Yeah, the power up. So he just up those protection once again. But it's Kilson, Kilson picked it up this time. But he's getting focused out by two people, doing a ton of damage by himself. Doesn't have a lot of backup immediately next to him, but they are trying to go for that soul. Tops himself up, has plenty of this protection left to go. If he can run in and get this, it'll be in a much better situation. His team is here. No, they're not quite behind him. Actually, actually, amazing use of the protection to just soak up that Blaskovitz dual wheel. You very rarely see someone survive that, but protection making all the difference. Kilson going so fast, wow. running so much momentum, and just like that, enemies are really far away too. It's yeah, going to be quite a while before they get here. Obel is completely unchallenged. The Voice Stereo has kind of dropped the ball that time. Avengers able to take it out. Oh, but base with that clutch rail to take him down. But he's by himself. Avengers, we can see there's three of them here ready to defend this. Yeah, the issue is that he's by himself, and there are so many people who's just eaten the acid as well. He is not going to survive this fight, but is it going to be long enough to get the soul and throw it away? No! Taken out before he can toss it. Now we can see there's plenty of Asterios as well. They've got the soul. Do Avengers try and stop them on the way, or do they meet them at the obelisk? He's got himself a rocket launcher. Yeah, they're going in as a unit. See, Proxima has it as Ranger. All take a lot of damage, and that will be enough. Kilson stops him. Trying to throw it back. It is this constant back and forth game. 40% versus 61%. Kills against kills. But consistently, if someone's going to get fragged, they will throw the soul as far away as possible towards their own obelisk. Make them work to get it back. We've already seen how hard it can be to, to cover small amounts of distances if there's an entire team ready to watch you. At the same time, the soul isn't anywhere, so Phoenix here grabbing himself a super nail gun. Soul is on the floor. He's going to pick it up. No one here to contest it. I was expecting them to line wait with a rail, but actually just having the rockets perhaps didn't have a rail available. Now, but Phoenix. Using that passive to good use, though, this visor, he does accelerate when he's moving in the same direction. He's able to clear a lot of ground quite quickly. And they have to kill. They, they, they cannot use that jump pad of Anarchy's around, otherwise that's a death sentence. Absolutely not. Oh, oh he missed the misses rail. the rail! That was a crucial miss! It's going to let him drop the soul off. And there we go. The percentage is going to build up once again, but 10 seconds until the next power-up. I mean, it almost felt like 30 seconds ago since the last power-up spawned. Really good use of just zoning away with those super nail shots from distance just on someone like Anarchy's quite low. So he has all the protection though, Kilson has it though. So now, where, where is the soul? It's in transit. Yeah, it's getting taken away. Sometimes people focus so much on the power up, they forget about it. And there we go. But now, not only do Avengers have access to the soul, they also have the power up. But Pekka's there, able to stop him. Or behind, Blaskovic's now holding onto it. Oh, we'll throws it away. The important, anyway, thing, the important thing was that he got the soul away before he got fragged. And again, Mastermind having to go all the way back. But again, Asterios lying in wait. Two HP. He cannot get breathed on. But one shot of the heavy machine gun will do just the job. Because he's taking a lot of damage from this LG, and Abso stops him from getting away. They've got a soul lag, very healthy, but getting LG down himself, runs away, drops the soul in case he dies. Very close to capturing it. Yes, he does. Managed he doesn't even away. die yet. Yeah, he does now, but important thing was he put it back onto the obelisk first. 80% already. 
Oh, make that 79. Actually, that 1% may make oh. all the difference. This is a close game. Very difficult to call at this stage. Ben just really making him work for this so far. Abso gets it. Throws the soul back. Makes him sort of cover that distance once again. And they are just trading frag for frag at the moment. Pekka gets two frags, denying uh, Abso the sort of mega health, trying to take it. Nice awareness. And Pekka bringing it all the way back. Now, if they can hold off for a good amount of time, I mean, the exchange has been so significant, but the percentage has not been building a, a huge amount. No, not so much because they, they, they can't hold it for long enough. As soon as they pull it on, Asterius was able to get it back. But right, as I can say that, Avengers here in force trying to defend it, but they are going down one at a time. Oh, but no, he take, gets himself taken down, trying to get the soul back off. I mean, it's literally constant trades. It's been constant frag trades for the past five minutes. However, they give it to Mastermind, giving it to Anarchy, give him that mobility, let him get there fast. There's that rocket jump, he tries to go oh. through, but no, Proximo meets him in the air, pulls him out. Super shotgun. Proximo actually getting three frags in a row with that super shotgun before getting taken out himself. Phoenix trying to survive, gets that clutch rail on ins. Can he close in enough space to drop it off? He does he indeed. indeed. And there's no one in Asterios to stop it just yet. This could be a little bit of guaranteed percentage because he's been really fighting for this frag. They really wanted to go for that power up. Yeah, it's quad damage as well. Fair mind. Asterios can get this. They're going in for the kill with quad damage. Well, I, mean, I mean, Phoenix, he's got access to his piercing site. Abzo takes out two rails and he denies the quad damage. That could have been the most pivotal sequence of this entire round. One well, only taking out two quad damage owning targets, taking it for himself, putting it back on the obelisk. I think Abso might have just won the match for his team. In, so just get a couple of frags before getting taken out himself though. But again, just look at that one more that's percent. It. I think that's game over. And there yeah, we go. That's gonna be it. Abso absolutely just just saving his team, taking the match by the reins at the end there. And that 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 double denial of the quad damage and to pick it up himself and then defending his own point. That was perfect team play. I mean, it, it was the final moment, right? I mean, that, that was the moment that basically just established that that game was going to go on the side of Avengers. He just saw them, pretty much acknowledged the fact that they had the quad, but denied the fact that the quad couldn't take the point. But it was not just one rail as well, it was two. And then he took the quad for himself and then used that quad to hold the point for like the last remaining, like what, seven, eight percent. I find that take. that's probably one of the most important um, cycles of the power up um, of any of them is that final one when it's sort of like just nearing the percentage sort of capping out as you've got a sort of scramble to stop them from getting the last sort of five or so percent, as the power up comes up, you have to make that decision as a team. Do we let the percentage climb a bit and make it even harder to get that sort of that one percentage away? Or do we just go for the power up and then make sure we secure that and then go in together? Because that is what Asterios tried doing that game. They literally ignored the obelisk for the last few seconds, just all just, just rushed that power up got it, and the only reason they didn't get that push was because of those double rails that the Inter steal well, from them. Well, if Abzo didn't get the rails at the end, if he missed those rails, those two players would have still been they, alive. They could have taken it. They, yeah, could, yeah. they would have just killed him, they would have just gone in, taken the soul, and it would have been really hard to stop them on the way back. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's almost like, it's when you talk about the decision of, at the final moment, it's almost like one of the main areas of which you as a team kind of need to make a choice. What do we do? You know, Do we go for the point, or do we ignore it and then get the uh, power up first? Clearly that was their decision. It just didn't work out because Abzo just pulled out that clutch rail at the very end. Now, one map down, potentially two more to go, but also potentially one more to go because this is our round of 16. Uh, it, this is the deciding match. If it's a 2-0 victory and Avengers move on, they will be seen again tomorrow playing more sacrifice. Uh, and on the flip side, you know, the... Um, they have another chance to stay alive in the tournament. And now on the flip side of this, Asterios can choose the map, and they've chosen Lockbox. Lockbox. Okay, so we've got a bit of a deja vu from last time. And I was going to say, uh, last time we saw um, Anarchy on both teams, no Scale Bearer. So we went from seeing Scale Bearer on every team regardless to neither team ran him at all. Do you think that could be a Burial Chamber thing? Considering it's, it's quite hard... Not say hard for him to navigate around, but it's it's not quite as easy for him to run from point it's A to point there's B. It's because there's a lot of like really little sudden twists. There's and a lot turns. of stuff to get in the way of his charge. Do you think that almost, in a sense, makes him not quite as popular on Burial Chamber specifically? Because well, we, we we saw him in every map, but that one we didn't. Well, I I think it really depends. Because and now we've seen him again. <laughs> I th I mean, you you could be right. Uh, in the fact, in the fact, there's a lots of stuff on the map on Barry Chamber that, even though it seems like quite an out in the open map, there are lots of little things that get in the way of the charge. But also seeing the rise of Sawlag on Burial Chamber, because Sawlag across both capture points, um, when it comes to actually taking the uh, obelisk in that location, you know, it's very th there's so much space of which Sawlag can just spray the floor in the acid. And even more prominent, I think, on a uh, point B when it's kind of like you know the pillars and the small environment. So Sawlag seems particularly useful there. However, Sawlag in general, I think, is useful. So I guess it comes down to you want beef, but what utility do you want on top of that sort of extra health pool? 
I suppose so. But um, we just have to wait and see what the what the final four is for each team. Obviously, we don't get to see the last one before we go into the game itself. But um, uh, Blaskovitz was there last time for Mysterios. Didn't seem to make too much of a difference by himself in that situation, but I think that was mainly because um, Avengers were just playing so well. Like, Visor was, was game-changing, Anarchy's mm -hmm. speed was game-changing, Solag mm -hmm. was doing so much work, and Nyx, you, know, you just can't go wrong with Nyx whatsoever. I think it's just Avengers had a really complete team in that match, and now it's up to Mysterios to show that they can do the same thing now in the second second map on Lockbox. All right, so we did see Sandals. The Finnish squad select Lockbox earlier in this tournament, and it was picked to great success. The team was clearly ready for this map, even though it is a bit newer than others. They were ready for it to go. Trying to pop the uh, injection, but it's not going to be enough. Inns gets taken out by Mastermind, and a very explosive start already. And you can clearly see that uh, we did see, even though Abner got taken out, he was going for Obelisk B. Again, Mastermind trying to make oh, the run, but base. again, fragged by base. Oh, here we go, that, that scramble to getting that obelisk because he goes straight for that B, but Avengers are here, ready to stop them. Lose themselves though, so now Avengers forced to defend the other obelisk instead, but they are going to get the soul off this one, I think. They did get enough kills. Absolutely getting that very impressive double kill. Oh, oh that rocket. It's trying to actually, yeah, really make that run as fast as possible. Has safely exited the base location, but can't quite get away from that mid-distance. Kilson gets tagged as well. The chase is on all the sides. Base manages to get away with the soul. Now, all he has to do is bring it back. There's not a huge amount of people nearby that can prevent him from doing it. With the exception of Abzo, who is looking at him. However, he's surrounded by enemies. The rest of his team still having to arrive. And he walks from here. Abzo goes down. Nice rail just to snuff that out. But Avengers able to take the soul, and it's Anarchy missed the rail. Anarchy gonna get away for free. Look at the speed. He is so fast. He is so quickly managing to get it towards the Obelisk A. So three of his teammates go down on the way. He is dropping himself. Yes, he gets killed just before he drops it off. Yes, and going through it. But again, the team is here. Kilson does knock him down. So Kilson has a on himself. Still on that Nyx. Oh, and he is oh. waiting for him. Bear in mind, this map was selected by Asterios. Having lost the last map, they didn't have the choice of what they wanted to play next. Abzo getting completely swarmed. However, still alive, barely. Even at this health, if he can get a couple of rails before he takes damage, that is still going to be so crucial. However, power-up spawns, it's going to be quad damage. Base has it. have it as well, though. He has to be really careful. Because a Nyx with quad damage, who's really just trying to get that soul, can be a lethal weapon. But Avengers getting quite a lot of percentage now. They're getting some time to come up together. So not, not only quad damage, but also the mega health on the side of base. Avengers here ready to defend this point, already fighting. And here we go, the quad damage rockets come through. Does. Oh, but taken down immediately. Only manages to get one frag on the side of that, so it's not going to be super pivotal. Abso snipes as well. And again, securing the quad for himself. Abso just has a problem with opponents with quad damage. He just he just rails quad damage opponents all day, non-stop. Clearly, it's very important decision-making too. Like, he, he eliminates the threat before it becomes a problem. And because of that, Avengers have now taken the lead. Almost, actually, no, over double the lead at this point. It actually happened again. We saw Asterios put so much value into securing that quad damage. And Abso, that one man, just stopping them from doing it, you know? So it, it gave them the soul. They're holding on to it now, 35% and counting. All because he just destroyed the quad damage wielder twice in a row. Two games back to back. Trying to prevent the soul again, but the rails from Abso this time have been so on point. As I said, that may be commentator's curse, missing a couple. But the important thing is that Abso actually still has access to the acid breath. Oh, oh wow! She just the, the nails just weren't connecting in that situation, but Phoenix is going to take her out anyway. Phoenix getting himself a double one with nail, one with super shotgun. Well, as we can see, Phoenix just used the piercing sight, so no wonder he knew where the guys were. Proximo getting the uh, dire orb frag as well, not quite a telefrag. So the soul still on the point though for Avengers. The obelisk is still ticking up. They're trying to stop it, but the Ghost Ball comes out. The Soul is gone. Base has it. Trying to run away with Nyx. Harry Low! Yeah, has not got a lot of health to try and make that run. He did manage to establish distance. Proximo following up, but once again, he himself doesn't have the largest amount of health in the world. Being chased once again. 13 seconds until that power up is going to spawn. So if Avengers can get that, then, I mean, if it's protection on the size of a giant tanky champion, you're willing to almost see a free take because they have become so useful. And he took the soul. Oh, and Proxima is waiting for him on the side of the teleport. It's going to be protection. Kilson has it on hand. Plenty of health left to work with. Normally wouldn't be, but the protection is going to make it super useful for him. All oh, the rail is missing. Kilson trying to get hold of the soul. Just trying to get it off the bottom. Anarchy and Nyx together. Who do you go from the situation? I Both don't even going to be going for it. Kilson doesn't even need to try and take a frag. He just needs to use his damage reduction to go in there, take it away. Manages to land an important rail, though. That's going to do big damage. But look at how many members of Asterios are lying in wait for him. They're going to ambush. And at this point, the protection does run out. 
I actually think Avengers have just been playing around these power-ups so much better in this set. Even though, even if the opponents have it, they play around it so well. But when they get hold of it, it is game-changing. Rocket's coming through. Proximo goes down and kills him with his rocket rampage. Doing so good to defend this obelisk. Pekka does manage to take him out eventually, though. But you just look at how much percent is going down to the stage and how many members of Avengers are waiting for him. Oh, that distance. Mastermind has the soul once again, drops it off, and Avengers now 77% and climbing. Oh, gets a nice. nice combo kill. Rocket into rail. That's the standard. We don't just see those in duels, evidently. No, oh, of course not. We can see just how many of Avengers are here around defending this obelisk. Now Stereo is now trying to contest it, but I just don't know. They're not here together in force the way Avengers are. It's just the complete level of control they have. Bear in mind, Mastermind has got access to injection, as I said, that permanently increasing his max health to over 80. This is important. Now this means that he's going to be able to tank a regular rail and survive, even if he hasn't got armor. Oh, there's the rockets coming through. One of them is a direct. Pekka goes down. And there's the follow-up. He misses the rail, but his teammates are still here. Abso once again defending through thick and thin. And Visor here once again, too. Avengers just playing like a complete unit and comfortably taking this first round, taking itself to match point. Not quite, actually. Oh, wait, no! There's 1% left, I thought that was it! Almost. Very almost. However, Asterios could still make this comeback. Are they going to do it, though? I mean, that's 99%. That's 1% left of error to go. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was ready to call this one as well. However, I do believe that would have been protection spawn. Who got the protection? I'm not sure, but this anarchy is very low. His team, Phoenix, there. How many there? Okay, so Nyx has protection. Question is, whose team? Ah, Kilson's got it again. Kilson, and he's got the soul! They're going to have to throw everything they can at him to stop him from getting away. He's missing these rockets. Very so slightly. Oh, Proximo goes down. Gets and a he double. takes two of them out. Pekka does manage to finish the job, though. So he's not going to quite get away. Mastermind. Uh-oh. Anarchy with protection. Oh, no. He missed the jump. He's going down the drain. Oh, There's, straight into two of them. so many people waiting for him, but he's tanking so much, but not enough. The Russians managed to take it back. Can this EU squad get that final percentage they need? That was so close, though. Just because he accidentally slipped down the middle, that could have been game, but step a little foot out of line. And Abso's going to take him out. Abso being the savior, takes the soul. As the rocket jump goes straight over, tops himself up on the way. Rocket jump trying to get through that. Oh, the Ooh, lightning gets, gun wasn't quite enough. He gets base at the last minute, and he has the rest of his team to follow up. Two health items as well. All he has to do is hold it off for a split second, and it's going to be the round. And there we it go. is enough. Abso, the savior once again, this guy. This clutch is, 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 I say clutch factor. I know he's not playing clutch. His clutch oh, factor here again. has been amazing this entire set. He's just been keeping it together, man. He's been doing such a good job. And just like that, Avengers are on match point. If they win this round, they are going to move on round to the playoffs two, tomorrow. Five. And they are going to get that first shot at maybe making the regionals to so perhaps qualify for QuakeCon seconds. later on. Maybe, but we are going to wait and see as this next and potentially final round is beginning. The soul is spawning soon. Asterios have a bit of a an uphill battle ahead of them. They've got a tall order, that's for sure. However, many, many seasoned players on both teams. And Asterios, they have some real talent on their side. So definitely can't count out any of these players. Oh, definitely not. But the thing is, this is the map they picked. And Avengers are still able to take that first round. However, the obelisks have been switched up this time. Asterios are the ones that managed to take A. And uh, I mean, A, we have mentioned before, it seems to be a locate. It seems to be the obelisks that a lot of teams prefer holding. So the fact that Asterios not only managed to take it for themselves, but they took it away from the Avengers. Now they're getting it on, so a little bit of a lead so far. Not too much of a lead, but definitely a lead nonetheless. Again, putting up that defense. Ooh, misses Ooh, yeah. Oh, misses Mastermind by his length. A little bit slow on the rail right there, and that four-man assault running in with that Ghost Walk Super Shotgun, but Kilson cannot get the job done, and Abso getting a double rocket before getting fragged himself. The question is, who's here left ready to... Con oh, wow. Mastermind gets himself that gauntlet kill. He's trying to take this away, but that rocket's doing a good job just keeping him off. But he got the soul. Is he going to get out? And is he going to get out safely? He is getting chased. No, he's going to go down. Proximo stops him. Throws the soul back. Pack is going to try and put this back on again. Oh, oh. he gets taken out. Kilson is there, ready to go, but he also dies himself. This is another one of those chaotic, 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 hectic and chaotic at the that, same time. I actually believe or not wanted to say both words at the same time and it just came out. Either way, 29% but Avengers now having access to it, but snuffed immediately. Now that's just As Asterios doing a really good job of just sort of holding off that mid ground, but Phoenix manages to sneak his way through. Visor will prevail and drop this off. So a 29% lead for Asterios right now, but Avengers going to start being able to build up some score themselves. Bear in mind, Phoenix actually has got access to his piercing sight, so he's now going to be able to really see who has the uh, power up. However, 
they do manage to get the quad damage, and that's going to be a really good tool to take this yeah, and soul it's back. Scale bearer that has it too, so that is dangerous. Uh oh, speaking of dangerous, quad damage bull rush doesn't quite connect, but well timed though, popping the bull rush right as the, as the soul spawned on him, so he didn't have to throw it away. That was really well timed. Here comes in. I mean, it's a safe drop off, really. There's not much they can do to stop him when he's got that much health and quad damage ready to go. Oh, nice rail. Nice came down to uh, Asterius doing a really good job of just ma just playing around that power up themselves really well. And here we go. This is what Avengers was doing last time. The sort of four man defensive sort of position on this obelisk. And right now, Asterius doing straight back to Avengers. What happened to them last round? The pace of the match is very clearly dictated by, um, at least on lockbox for now, I think the pace of the match is heavily decided at the very beginning when the first team managed to choose whether they get Obelisk A or not. Because Obelisk A has been such a crucial point to control for both teams. Every team we've seen on Lockbox today, this is the one everyone wants to take. Zapso gets the soul, drops it, rebounds. He is getting chased by this nail gun. Though. Have to be really careful here. Oh. There's no way he's getting away safely. Proximo stops him and takes the soul back himself. And on the flip side, Asterios really looking comfortable. Now they've got this Obelisk location. I have no doubt if this goes down to another round, we're going to really see them fight for this point. Well, it seems crucial, right? I mean, neither team seems very effective at, at sieging away from it. You know, and Avengers are, 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 they managed to get 12%, but if they that by itself wasn't quite enough. Oh, wow. That. Oh, my Lord. Phoenix was not ready to lose that much, but <laughs> wait, he shot a rocket and it connected before death. That was the longest trade known to man. The soul is gone. Mastermind has it, but you just cannot get out safely. Oh, so and look many at that speed. Wow. So many rocket frags just now, hard to keep up with. However, you just look at how consistent, look at the uh, the ratio increase. Asterios now looking at 80%. Quad damage, Kilson does manage to secure the quad. Can he, he get something going? Though. He needs to heal up before he goes in for this fight, or has he even got the time to get himself a frag? Pops a little bit of armor on the way. Has to see him up the top. I think... a box. He knows where oh. to go and ends with that rocket preemptively. Wonderful stuff, but Quad is still sitting on the sidelines. And actually on the first, Avengers opting to try and take Quad damage before they take the soul away. It has actually given Asterios enough time to get it back. Indeed, they managed to take it. Oh, 92%. Pass. This is almost a guaranteed round. I'm not quite sure if Avengers can take this away. They have a few people here ready to go, but I don't know if it's enough. One more percent, and Asterios are going to make it 1-1. One, one. There's that injection. They're going coming out the soul. There we go. The obelisk is taken. That's it. One round apiece. Stereo is looking a lot better. Like you said, it really, seem, it really seems to come down to who gets hold of that particular obelisk. Both of them, I mean, they wasted no time. They went straight there. So I think it's safe to say that that's definitely where both teams feel the most comfortable. So which also means that the round first minute three, of this final five. round could be make or break. It's definitely not a simple case Soul of spawns. you get obelisk A and you win. However, the results we've seen today have shown that whoever gets obelisk A definitely has a more comfortable time. I, I'm assuming it's just a side that all of these teams are more comfortable with. Stereo are here though. They are here in force. Oh no, they were waiting around and now it's here. Now they're fighting for it. Kilson gets it. They trade two kills for two. Int's actually getting a double kill with that ball rush. And now he's going towards point A, but he gets taken out. However, if they get taken out really closely, Asterios, there they we go. It. They've got Obelisk A. Now this may have set the pace for the entire round. Avengers need to get it now. They cannot allow the same early lead that has been happening round after round to start again. Asterios trying to make it work. Mastermind getting two frags with that rail. Is it going to be enough to take the soul though? That is the question. He's got it, but with one HP one left. HP. He throws it to a teammate in case he dies. And he goes through. He's taking it to the three of them together. But there we go. Asterios is there with the gauntlet trying to stop him. Manages to get a rocket in the end, but he does get fragged. Proximo manages to take it, but traded out once again by Avengers. But again, headed off. Two players coming straight through to try and deny it. But this time round, with only 15% of a lead, Avengers do manage to get that soul into the obelisk. But Avengers are going to have to do a much better job of holding onto it this time, because last time they just they lost the power up and they lost it immediately, and they were never able to claim it back. You can see they were almost scattered around again. Oh, left with just a tribal trying to defend, but Proximo from behind. Two rail kills. He's going for the soul once again, and it looks like Astaroth doing a good job of getting hold of it themselves. Ranger has the uh, soul in hand, being headed off, but there are so many allies around him. It is not going to be easy to defend it. Trying to control up top, actually, rather than on the bottom. Can they get that final 10 damage? He Dropping off. It. You can tell he tried to throw up the stairs, but he hit the wall. It just fell to the ground. At this stage, though, bear in mind, Asterios are in the process of bringing it back, and now, again, they can hold it. With the power-up spawning in five seconds, Avengers have to get this power-up, otherwise the lead will increase. 
Abso okay, gets protect. protection, but it goes to Abso. This is dangerous. Abso has been lethal so far, especially when he's got that tanky champion. So if he can resist, picks up the uh, yep. soul. Sorlak has the protection. He's also got his ability on deck if he absolutely needs it. He is going to have to drop the soul to do it, but hang on a minute. Going straight through, trying to keep this kill streak going. He has to deliver this as fast as possible and use the rest of that protection time to defend. But no, misses the obelisk by a hair's length, and he might get punished for this. No, he's able to get the kill. He starts protection sticking. He has plenty of health. Pick up Sarabhan 2, he is here by himself defending there again, his team's starting to trickle in, three of them here, four yeah. of them now, all this is all they four need to members, do. All four members on this location, Abso getting a little bit stacked back up. As you can see, the damage is so high, very rarely are these tanky champions consistently sitting on max health, especially when there is so much damage coming out of both teams. But Avengers have taken the lead. I think it really comes down to Abso though, I mean, a, a, a lot of this game's success is riding on his shoulders, you know, he, he's making a lot of the play, he's doing a lot of the clutch defenses single-handed, and there we go, he dies, oh, he lands in the acid! Solag's last laugh, landing into the acid, and they trade it at the last possible second! Oh dear. Okay, well, it looks like Avengers still holding on to though, the soul is gone though. So Stereo's grouped together, Nyx has it, that's really good for them. Throws it out to Anarchy, who's going to be a little bit faster getting it back. And I don't think their position well enough to stop him. They just seem to have one person waiting, but I'm not... No, he's nowhere near. This is probably going to be a free capture. Yeah, they definitely tried to head him off, but no one was by the route that Pekka actually decided to take. And because of that, Asterios at a chance brings one back. One HP, and he ever so slightly got his injection off. But look at how many members of Avengers are there on the Obelisk. They're trying to take it. One goes down, two goes down, but they do trade out one frag after that. Oh, he hits the rail, but long way short, enough damage. Pop the injection, stay alive, two health pickups, keeps him up. Not quite getting followed, gets away really fast, those nails aren't quite connecting. Just look at how much Asterios have headed them off. Can't decide who he wants to take out. In does get a frag, but gets fragged himself as well. Abzo seizes the uh, soul at the last minute. Oh, he gets to take it down! This is unbelievably close. I mean, they are just trading frags so consistently. But again, Obelisk B is currently where the soul lies. And Avengers trying to defend it and trying to get that last round. If they win this round, they will move on into tomorrow's playoffs. Much closer this time, though. Kilson doing a lot of damage to Proxima behind. He hasn't turned around. Not quite in time. Loads of damage done by the time he actually decided to see what was going on. Kills the rail. It's going to be very hard for Scalebearer to actually match him on the other side. The wall jump so easily navigating one point of that uh, room to the other, I should say. So it's good that the quad went into the way of Avengers 2, so they got quite a lot of percentage Ooh, there. But here we look go, at Asterios, this. all four of them here, ready to take this away. Look at this four-man attack. They're going to trade one for one, but again, the acid goes on the ground. The damage is going to tick down. Proximo gets Phoenix. He stays alive, but for how long? Although they're starting to get fragged out here. Kills the ghost to four. relocate. They didn't see him go out of his ghost mode, but they do manage to get the soul away. That's all Pekka needs to get away. Misses the rail, bounces it, misses the soul, tries to go in for the injection. That would have been amazing, but unfortunately misses it by a hair's length. Question is, can he get away in time? Kilson goes down, Phoenix. That is it, there is strength in numbers. They steal it away. That one fumble throw might have been everything. Proximo does manage to get a couple. All three go down, one left. But Phoenix is remaining. All he needed to do was survive long enough to drop it off, and he has managed to do it. Now, until they frag him, it's just going to continue that percentage going up higher and higher. The frags are going, but just look at how much lead has been established here. The problem is there's no one on Avengers. They're waiting to defend their own obelisk. They're all here in the middle, so that was a free capture. That's 87%. If they held on to it, that could have been the game. Base is trying to get it closer and closer. He's trying to go for Abso, but I don't think he knows he's there. Yeah, they're just holding on for Aobelisk. He is. He survived for so long, just long enough. But Kilson does manage to snag that soul with 13% left to take. I mean, it's looking really good for the they're, Avengers. They're not, they're not here. They're not here to stop him. That's going to be it. Yeah, they're Kilson opting, can get they're, it. They're opting to go for the power up. They're going for the same decision they made on Burial Chamber. Go for the power up and then seize the point. Okay, Will it work this time? Yeah, they're guaranteed to get the power up, but they need to go in now. 5% left to go. This protection will mean nothing if they can't get the soul away. He's only got 10 health left. It doesn't even matter too much. They do get the soul, but will it matter? 3% Back, throws it to the other side. Oh my lord, the preemptive rocket and the protection goes in the way of Avengers 2, and they have the soul. That's I think it. that's all she wrote. That's gonna be it. Kilson has too much health and the protection good to go. Avengers are likely to take this if they can just hold off for that last possible second. And that's all she wrote. Oh my lord, just like that. I mean, respect to Asterios. They played really well. They made that final decision as a team. We get this power up and then go in together. And they did that and it was so close, but ultimately the defense of Avengers really pulled through. They, 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 they focused properly, took out that protected target, took protection for themselves, threw the soul onto the obelisk and that's it, game. But I think it was, um, I think it was base at the end. Unfortunately,
unfortunately, even though he had the protection at, at the end there, and it was like, right, I've got the protection, I've got to go in, he only had 25 HP. So even though protection like does heavily reduce the damage that you take, it by no means was enough you're to not push in, the you're point. You're not invincible. You're just heavily... Uh, not immune to damage, right? But it, it, it makes you take significantly less, but you are not invincible. You're being focused down, and there's enough people just laying into you with rockets, rails, nail guns, whatever it is, you're still going to die if you take too much damage. But what Avengers did a great job of as well on uh, Lockbox in particular was showing that they're also comfortable defending point B. You know, that's that B obelisk where it looks, you know, like... It that, it seemed like A was like the be-all end-all. In every match we've seen so far, A is by far the one that people seem to do the best holding on to. To the point where, you know, you wonder, is B like currently seen as like almost like a disadvantage, you know, to one team because people just aren't comfortable on it. But on the flip side of that, I don't think so, you know, because they, they look just as comfortable on both points. It was a great round for Asterios. Burial Chamber was a fantastic map as well, but I think Lockbox at the very end Bear in mind, Asterios actually selected that map as well. They really felt like it was going to be their advantage to pick that map. But Avengers just ready, you know, and if you're going to be playing at this level with this much money on the line, you need to be ready for anything and everything. If there's one thing Avengers showed us, um, which is something we haven't seen too much today of, is they have no weak weak obelisks on these maps. They, they were forced to defend all of them on, the, on both maps they played, and they looked comfortable, you know, even, even though Asterios had that really strong second round, Avengers, when losing the same point, were able to make that adjustment. And that seems to be a big thing today, is on-the-fly adaptation, depending on what obelisks they've got, where they're likely to be, what champions they have, what routes they can then <laughs> take. And there's that suicide, just dips in the green drink, the apple accolade. That was uh, probably my favorite frag of this whole set. It wasn't even a frag. Well, it kind of was a self-frag. Self, self it, it, it said it was a suicide, but by no means was it. He did not do that on purpose. <laughs> Poor guy. For, forced into that Appleade, the Apple drink. Either way, that was a fantastic set and a really big congratulations to Avengers, who we will be seeing again tomorrow in our Sunday playoffs for Sacrifice. But we're not finished. We're going to go for a quick break while we set up our next match, which is also round of 16 to